Good morning, everyone. Hatha Yoga Online starts right now. Wish, I hope you are in a good, positive mood. Beautiful morning. We will do today shoulder stand practice. It's an inversion. Uh, if you have problems with shoulder stands, no problem. I will show you variation with a ball that you can practice at home and become better at it and slowly move away from the ball. So all the asanas that we do today slowly, slowly will take us to shoulder stand. Yes, and we will start in Sukhasan easy pose. Our conditioning. Keep your spine straight in parallel to the floor and close your eyes. Relax your facial muscles and focus on your breathing. Relax your mind, just focus on every inhale you are taking in and every exhale you take out. Open your eyes and now bring into your chest. Inhale, lift your chin all the way down. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Bring your parallel to the floor. Look to your right. And moving to the left. Continue breathing. Inhale to the right. Exhale to the left. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale to the right, exhale to the other side. Come back to center, bring your head, your ear towards your right shoulder and change. And again change. Do it very slowly, warming up our neck muscles, our shoulder muscles. Relax your shoulders. Very good. And slowly come down. Gentle circles with your head. Relax. Your body. Just move your head slowly, keeping your eyes open. And change direction. Center, bring your shoulders up, squeeze your neck and release. Again, up and drop. Up and drop. Up, drop. Up and drop. Now, interlace your fingers, bring on your chest, 
Inhale, exhale. Bring your hands in front, shoulder level, and stretch. Inhale to your chest. Exhale, stretch slightly around your back. Inhale to your chest. And exhale, stretch. Inhale, keep your spine straight. Exhale, stretch. Inhale. And exhale. Bring back and now 45 degree up. And back. Eggy up. And back. 45. And back. One more time. And bring it back. Now all the way up and stretch. Stretch, feel this lengthening of the spine, chin parallel to the floor. This exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center. Again, to the right. And center, don't bring back to the right. And come back. Release on your chest. Again, inhale up, give a good stretch, you can slightly move your body side to side. Bring back to chest. Again, inhale up. And down. Inhale up. And moving side bend. Stretch your arms. And stay. Come back to the center. Stretch. And exhale, moving to the other side. Keep your sitting bones on the ground. Inhale, center. And bring your hands to your chest. Release. And shoulders, circles. Our upper body is slowly warming up. And change direction. Good. Bring your hands in front, palms looking outside. Clasp your hands. This exhale, open. And inhale in. Open. And in. One. Two. And three. Now, we will change the side. And again, open. Open. One, two, and three, and release. Bring your hands in a cactus position. Inhale, you will open your chest, bring your chin up, look up. Exhale, stomach inch into your chest, elbows bring them together. Again, inhale, open. And exhale, close, elbows together. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Bring your hands down and start your circles with your upper body. Do not hold your breath. Continue breathing. Working on our lower back now and our core muscles. Good. Breathing in and out. And change direction. Good. So some people send requests for inversion poses. We will not do inversions as handstand and headstands to the internet because I don't want you guys injure yourself but in versions as Viparit Karani as shoulder stand we will be practicing yes and when we will meet face to face I promise you we will do inversions and come back up extend your legs in front shake Bring your hands next to your body, point your toes and stay. Lifting crown of the head up, chin parallel to the floor, stomach in. And flex, 
Flex, flex, flex as much as you can. Eddy point. And flex. Point. And flex. Point. And flex. And now gentle circles. Side one. And circle to the other direction. Now bend your leg, hands under your thigh. We will straighten our leg up and release. Inhale up, keep your spine straight. Exhale, release. Egging up and down. Up and down. Up, down. One more time. Up and release. Other leg. Clasp your hands under your thigh. Inhale, straighten it. Exhale, down. Up and down. Up, down. Keep your spine up. One more time. Up and release. Very good. We will come on our core for some cut and cow. Knees hip distance. Stack your toes. Your wrist under your shoulders. Inhale, open your chest, look up. Exhale, child. Uh, oh, we will go to child pose. You can untap your toes, so we will change our direction. Inhale, come table pose, look up. Without moving your hands, go into child pose. Inhale, open your chest. And now exhale, round your back and move into child pose. Again, inhale, coming, lifting your chest up. And exhale, round your back, chin to your chest and move into the child pose. Inhale, up. Table pose, look up. Exhale, round your back and move into child's pose. Forehead to the ground. Inhale, table pose, shoulder blades moving to your hips. Exhale, round your back and move into child's pose. Inhale, up. And exhale, round, chin to your chest, move into child pose. And one more time, inhale, open your chest. And exhale, round, 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 and come into child's pose. Stay there, long inhale, and long exhale. Look in front, come on your knees. So we will do small vinyasa. You will keep your knees together. Bring your hands on your back, lower back, yes? With inhale, you will bring your right hand up, other stays on your lower back. Exhale, you will go to child's pose. Bringing forehead on the floor, hips on your heels. Inhale, you will come in back onto kneeling position, hand up and backward your hand and bring it to your lower back. Inhale, left hand comes up. Exhale, come into child's pose. Inhale, kneeling position, stretch all the way up. Exhale, backward your hand and bring it on the lower back. Again, inhale, right hand comes up, stretch. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, come into the kneeling position, stretch your arm up. 
and backward, bring your hand on your lower back. Left hand inhale up. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, coming all the way up into kneeling position, stretch up. Bring your hand back to your lower back. Again, inhale, right hand comes up. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, coming into the kneeling position. Exhale, release your hand on your lower back. Last one. Inhale, hand up. Exhale, come into child's pose. Inhale, come into kneeling position. And release your hands on your back. And now with two hands, inhale, hands up. Exhale, come into child's pose using your core muscles, elbows on the ground, forehead on the floor. Inhale, coming all the way up into the kneeling position. Backward your hands, without arching your back, bring your hands on your lower back. Again, inhale, hands up. Exhale, coming to child's pose. Forehead on the floor, heels, hips on your heels. Inhale, coming up into kneeling position, stretch all the way up. Exhale, backward your hands and bring your hands on your lower back. Last one, inhale, hands up. Exhale, forward bend. Four child's pose. Inhale, come into kneeling position. And exhale, bring your hands on your lower back. Come on table pose. Tuck your toes, spread your fingers. Come to your downward facing dog. Feet hip distance and start pedal your legs. Bend one leg at a time. Moving your hips more up. Do not hold your breath, breathing in and breathing out. And now we will come to plank. Inhale, come on your toes and shift to plank. Keep your hips parallel to the floor, stomach in. Exhale, moving back to downward facing dog. Stomach in, chin to your chest. Long inhale and long exhale. Inhale on your toes, again shifting to plank. Look down. And exhale, coming to downward facing dog. Long inhale, long exhale, landing in the spine. Inhale on your toes, shift into plank, stomach in. Stay in one inhale and one exhale. Back to downward facing dog. Stomach in, chin to your chest. Inhale on your toes, shift into plank. Look down. And last one, downward facing dog. Exhale, long inhale, long exhale. Inhale, come into plank. Stay there for three, two, one. Exhale, come into downward facing dog. Look in front, bend your legs and step in front for full forward bend. Keep your feet mud distance, hold your elbows, soften your knees. Yes, slightly bend them and relax your head, relax your neck. And stay. Long inhale and long exhale. 
Your toes are relaxed. Inhale. And exhale. Bring your feet a little bit closer to each other. You can sway side to side only with your upper body to give more space on your lower back. Continue breathing. Release your hands down to the ground. Round your back and very slowly come all the way up. And release your shoulders down. Hands down, close your eyes. And just bring awareness on your breathing. Breathing in and out. Long inhale and long exhale. And open your eyes. What we did in the kneeling position in child pose, we'll, we will apply for our forward bend and half forward bend, Uttanasana and Arha Uttanasana. So your hands will be again on your lower back. Feet, you can keep your feet hip distance. Inhale, you will bring your right hand up. Exhale, you will come full forward bend. Trying to reach the ground, relax your head, relax your neck. Inhale, you come in parallel to the floor, your hand in one line with your ears, you look down. Stay one, exhale, and inhale, come all the way up, backward your hand and bring on your lower back. Left hand inhale comes up, exhale, moving full forward bend. Contract your abdominal muscles. Inhale, come parallel to the floor. Ardha Uttanasana, stretching. You can be back flat, look down. Inhale, come all the way up for half hastasan. Backward your hand and bring your hand on your lower back. Again, inhale, hand up. Exhale, going full forward bend, Uttanasana. Inhale, come halfway, stretch. Stay one, exhale here. And inhale, coming all the way up. Back on your hand and bring on your lower back. Try not to lower, uh, not to arch your lower back. Inhale, left hand comes up. Exhale, full forward bend. Inhale, come half, half weight. Engage your core muscles, stretch. Next inhale, come all the way up. Bring your back, hand on your lower back. And now inhale, both hands coming up. Exhale, come in full forward bend. Do every movement with awareness and with the breath. Inhale, come in parallel to the floor. You can soften your knees if you feel like slightly bent. Push your chest more in front with hands. And inhale, come in all the way up. Backward your hands and bring your hands on your lower back. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, forward bend. Now hold your ankles. And with exhale, move your elbows back, trying to bring your tummy closer to your thighs. Relax your head, relax your neck. You can again bend your knees slightly. Bring your hands in one line with your ears. And inhale, come all the way up. And bring your hands all the way 
on your lower back. Release your hands down, close your eyes, and focus on your breathing. Breathing in and breathing out. Long inhale and long exhale. Open your eyes. So while we do all those forward bends, half bends, we are creating control of our core muscles, yeah, which is engaging our abdomen, our glutes, our spinal muscles, which is are really essential for our sarvangasana, shoulder stand pose. And we will continue more with it before we come to shoulder stand. You will bring your feet wide, toes looking in, heels slightly apart. This is part important. Don't bring your feet out. Yeah, so they are looking in. Prasarit Padatanasana, wild, wide leg stand. You will come hands on your hips, exhale, you will come first, bring your hands under your shoulders and just look down, moving your hips away from your ribs, keeping our legs straight, long inhale and long exhale. Now you will bring your right hand parallel to the floor in one line with your ear and look at your hand. With exhale, you will lift your hand up and open your chest. Inhale, bring it back, parallel to the floor, look down now and release your hand down. Inhale, left hand comes parallel to the floor in one line with your ear. All the time, keep your legs straight. Look in front. Exhale, open your chest. Hand moves up. Inhale, bring it back parallel to the floor. Stretch. And exhale, release your hand up. Inhale, right hand come up. Look in front. Exhale, open. Inhale, bring it back parallel to the floor. Move your hips away from your ribs. Exhale, release down. Inhale, left hand come parallel to the floor. Look in front. And exhale, open. Inhale, bring it back parallel to the floor. Stretch, stretch, stretch and release down, right hand in front, exhale, open, inhale, come back, stretching more in front, and release down, last one, inhale, stretch your arm, exhale, open, inhale, bring it parallel to the floor, release down, Move your hands in one line with your feet and just exhale, full forward bend, relax your head, relax your neck, keep your legs straight, long inhale and long exhale, long inhale. And long exhale, relax your shoulders, relax your neck, your head, your toes are also relaxed. And now lift your chest up, hands on your hips, and with flat back, come all the way up. Bring your feet together, hands in Namaste, close your eyes for Siddh Pratanasana. Breathing in and breathing out. Long inhale and long exhale. 
Open your eyes, bring your hands down. Inhale, hands up. Gentle back bend, look up. And exhale, forward bend. Inhale, lift your chest up, Adha Uttanasana. Hands to the floor and come to table, toe pose. Knees to the ground. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, round your back, come into child's pose. Hips on your heels, forehead down to the floor. Inhale, come back to table, toe pose, open your chest. Exhale, round your back, come into child's pose. One more time. Inhale, open your chest, look up. Exhale, round your back, come into child's pose. Long inhale and long exhale. Look in front, come all the way up and go all the way down to the ground and relax in Makrasana. Breathing in and breathing out. Now bring your forehead on the floor, feet a little bit wide. You will have your hands next to your chest. With inhale, you will lift your legs, your chest and your hands up. And you will stay there. Bring your hands in front. That's why I was changing. <laughs> and slowly bring everything down. Again, inhale now with your extended arms. Inhale, come up. Lift everything up. Bring your hands in the cactus position closer to your ribs. Exhale, release everything down. Inhale, lift everything up. Bring your hands in front. And slowly release. Inhale, lift everything up. Move your elbows towards your ribs, lifting your chest more up. And exhale, release down. Inhale, up. Extend your hands and slowly release everything down. Last time, inhale, lift. Move your elbows to your ribs, lifting your chest more up. And exhale, relax all the way down. Hands under your head, makrasan, crocodile pose. And relax. Stay for five, four, three, two, one. Now you will turn and lie on your back, knees to your chest. Hands right next to your hips. With inhale, you will straighten your legs up 90 degrees and you will bring hands over your head. Exhale, bending your legs, chin parallel to the floor and hands all the way down to your hips. Inhale, again, straighten your legs, hands over your head. Exhale, bend your legs, hands to the floor. Inhale, stretch. 
and exhale, slowly bend your legs, hands to the floor next to your hips. Inhale, stretch your legs up, hands above your head. Exhale, bring your shin parallel to the floor, hands to your hips. One more time. Inhale, flex your feet. And exhale, bring it down, hug your knees and walk and roll side to side. Hug just your left knee, extend your left leg up. Exhale, slowly bring it, your left leg down to the floor. And inhale, bring it up. Exhale, down to the ground. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. And inhale, up. Bend your left knee. Extend your right leg up. With exhale, bringing your right leg down to the ground. And inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. And inhale. Bend your legs. Lift your chest. Bring your forehead towards your knees as much as you can. And stay in the pose. Stay for five. Four. Three, two, one. Slowly lie down. Bring your feet to the ground for bridge pose. Feet hip distance. Hands next to your hips. Inhale, lift your hips up. And stay. Five, four, three, Two, one, very slowly, your spine goes to the ground, last your hips, and again, inhale up, raise your hips more up, and exhale slowly, bring you down, very, very, very slowly, Vertebra by vertebra to the ground, last your hips. Inhale, hips moving up for bridge pose. And exhale, slowly moving down. Very good. And now we come into our shoulder stand. Uh, I will show you a few variations. So one variation, how you can come to the pose, you will lie down, bring your knees closer to your chest, and just rock and bring knees to your forehead. Bring support of your hands on your back, and straighten one leg up, and release. And straighten other leg up and bring it back to forehead. Yeah, so we will do this all together before we go to full Sarvangasan. If this is difficult for you, you will use the wall, you don't need much of the wall. You will bring your feet on the wall, hips 12 inches away. And you will lift your hips up. 
You see, I'm lifting. Again, bring in support of your hands on your back. You will lift one leg up. Stay and after bring it down. Other leg will move up and you will bring it back. So it's up to you what direction you are going. So if you choose without the wall, very gently lift your hips off the floor and bring your knees to your forehead. We are not moving our head. Just follow my instruction. Inhale, straighten your right leg up. And inhale, bring it back. Another leg up. And bend it. Again, right leg comes up. And bend. Inhale, straighten your leg up. And exhale, bend. Right leg up. And then left leg up and then now bring your right leg up and slowly start to move behind your head for half halasan. Inhale, straighten up and again exhale, moving back as much as you can. Inhale up and back inhale up exhale towards the floor one more time inhale up and exhale back bring it back up bend and we will do the same with left straighten your left leg up exhale moving to halasa inhale up Exhale to Halasan. Inhale up. Exhale Halasan. Inhale up and bring it back. Slowly release your hips to the ground. Hug your knees. And now we will go to full Sarvangasana. So people who are on the wall. You continue to do the, uh, the same, lifting one leg and you will stand with one leg up. You will slowly try to remove other leg of the wall. If it's difficult, you will just change alternately legs. People who are on the ground will come to shoulder stand. Lift your legs up, 90 degree first. With support of your hand and core muscles, bring your hands first back, lift your chest up. Support with your hands. And coming for Sarvangasana, shoulder start. We are not moving our head. Squeeze the knees together. And stay. Breathing in. And out. Breathing in. Your feet are relaxed. We don't want to have a lot of pressure on our heart. Breathing in and out, stay ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, 
and one. Very slowly bend your knees towards your head. With support of your hands, using your core muscles, coming very slowly to the ground, very, very slowly. Extend your legs and you will come for Matsyasana. Hands next to your hips. Inhale, lifting your chest up, bringing forehead to the ground. If this is difficult for you, you can just lie down, bring your elbows up and lift your chest up. Yes, this is two variation. Use any of it. And stay here. Breathing in and breathing out. Stay five, four, three, two, and one. Very slowly, lie all the way down, bend your legs, turn to your right side, and with support of your hands, come to seated position. Good. And now we will come for Dandasan. Extend your legs, bring your hands up, toes looking up, Chin parallel to the floor, don't lean back, and stay. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, coming for forward bend, Paschimottanasana. Wherever your hands is, your legs are straight, keeping your shoulders away from your ears. And stay. Long inhale and long exhale. Long ex inhale and long exhale. Breathing in and breathing out. Shoulders are relaxed. Look in front and slowly lift your chest up. Bend your right leg for Janu Shirshasan. Bring your right knee to the ground. Your foot just touching your thigh. Inhale, bring your hands up. Exhale, forward bend. Lifting your chest up, not going down. Now, with exhale, your right hand comes up, opening your chest. Inhale, come back, lift your chest, and exhale, forward bend. Inhale, lift your chest up, exhale, open. Inhale, come back, lift your chest, and exhale, forward bend. Last time, inhale, lift your chest, exhale, open. Feel your spine. Inhale, come back, lifting your chest up, and exhale, forward bend, and stay five, four, three, two, one. Lift your chest, inhale, look up, inhale, coming all the way up, and release your hands down. Extend your right leg, bend your left, lift your chest up, drop your knee to the side. So if your knee is not on the floor, you can always keep pillow or block under. Yeah, your leg which is straightened, it's straightened. It's not lifted, it's not bent. You are keeping your heel, your calf and your thigh touching the ground. And inhale. We will bring our hands up. Exhale, going forward, bend, look at your big toe. Exhale, left hand, open up towards your bend knee. Inhale, come back, lifting your chest. And exhale, forward, bend. Inhale, lift your chest up. 
Exhale, open. Inhale, come back, lift your chest up. And exhale, forward bend. Inhale, lift chest up, last one. Exhale, open. Inhale, come back to center. And exhale, go down. And stay. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhale, look at your big toe. And come all the way up. And release your hands down. Extend your legs. We will do Mari Chasan twist. Right foot comes outside of your left knee. Your left leg is active. Yeah, your toes looking up. Inhale, lift your left hand up. Exhale, bring elbows in front of your knee. And twist. Look above your right shoulder. And stay. Breathing in. And breathing out. If you want more intense stretch and you feel that you are flexible enough, enough you see this hole here yeah, you create it like a triangle you will bring your hand left hand inside and right hand behind and you clasp your hands and you stay but you need to keep your back straight don't slouch and then you stay stay for five Four, three, two, one. Slowly release, extend your leg. Left leg comes outside of your right knee. Inhale, right hand comes up. Exhale, twist. So if this hand, you don't know what to do, you can bring it up yeah, and push your knee more back. You can just hug your knee again. Bringing your chest more to open, but always remember that your hips are not lifted up, it's on the ground. Yeah, and stay five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come back, extend your legs, or then does some hands above your knees. Toes up, lift your chest up and stay. Breathing in and breathing out. Legs are active, crown of the head moving all the way up, keeping your spine straight. Create space in your abdomen area or your internal organs. Shoulders are relaxed and stay five, four, Three, two, one. Hands on both sides of your thighs. With exhale, you are going down for Paschimottanasana. And inhale, slowly walking back for Dandasana. Exhale, walking, walking, walking for Paschimottanasana. Inhale, walking, walking back up to Dandasana. Last one, exhale, stomach in, walking down Paschimottanasana. And inhale, walking all the way back. And lie down on your back. Bring your feet closer to your buttocks for bridge pose. Three times we will make. Inhale, lift your hips up. And exhale, slowly down. Inhale up and exhale slowly bring it down. One more time. Inhale up and exhale slowly bring it down. Bring your hands in a deep position. Bring your right knee on top of your left knee. If you can twine your leg, you twine your leg. 
and drop your knees on the left side for eagle twist and stay shoulders on the ground and stay five four breathe do not hold your breath two and one inhale slowly come back untwine your legs and now left knee on top of the right twine if you cannot twine just have knee on top of the knee and exhale drop your knees on the right look to the left and stay five four slowly come back and lie comfortably in Shavasana. Find your beautiful spot on the mat. Relax your beautiful body. Palms looking up. Close your eyes. Relax your toes. My toes are relaxed. Relax your feet, your ankles. My feet and my ankles are relaxed. Relax your calves, your knees. My calves and my knees are relaxed. Relax your thighs. My thighs are relaxed. Relax your hips. My hips are relaxed. Relax your stomach. My stomach is relaxed. Relax your chest. My chest is relaxed. Relax your shoulders, your arms, your hands. My shoulders, my arms, and my hands are relaxed. Relax your facial muscles. My facial muscles are relaxed. body is fully relaxed from my toes to my hips to the crown of my head. With every exhalation, release any tension from your body. With every exhalation, release any tension, any worries from your mind. Bring awareness to your feet, your hands, 
Slowly start to wiggle your toes, your fingers. Join your feet together. Give a good stretch to your body. Bend your legs and turn to your right side. With support of your hands, slowly come to comfortable sitting posture. Keep your spine straight and parallel to the floor. Long inhale and long exhale. Long inhale and long exhale. One inhale and exhale. Bring your hands in Namaste in front of your heart. Move your hands to your forehead, reminding us to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to your heart, reminding us to have clear and loving intentions. And hands to the mouth, reminding us to have clear and loving communications. Thank you for your practice. Have a wonderful day. See you on the mat tomorrow. Love and light.